Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, so I wanted to make a quick video, uh, trying to, um, paint a golden shad. Uh, so I started out with a, uh, base layer of white, uh, and then I sprayed two coats of this golden yellow color, this bright yellow color, um, over the base base layer of white. Uh, so I haven't been painting baits long or airbrushing long at all, um, but I am getting uh, getting better, I believe. Um, you know, one thing I have noticed is that and I think might help my my painting is uh, the compressor that I got does not have a, a way to control the flow of air um, so I'm spraying at at a high PSI but I did recently uh, uh, order order a uh, bleed valve so I should be able to control the uh, flow of air and reduce the uh, you know the amount of pressure that I'm, I'm spraying at and I think that'll help me especially with um, uh, some of the finer details uh, on these baits um, but right now I'm still trying just basic trying to do just some basic patterns uh, one or two colors and uh, uh, simple patterns um, but I'm, I'm getting better uh, at layering the paint um, getting better at at making these patterns and uh, really enjoy painting these baits so far um, trying to get creative with it just come up with some color combinations that I think will work uh, But here we just put on that second coat of yellow. Uh, bait looks pretty good so far. So now I want to paint the uh, back of this bait. I want to paint it black. And uh, I was really trying to get it nice and dark. And uh, I wanted to really accentuate that that black back, uh, so I went ahead and, and sprayed on two coats of black uh, on the back of this bait. Once I painted the back of this bait black, um, I don't think it's in the video. Uh, but I took a paintbrush and I, I painted some red uh, right behind the gills. Um, not to the point where I felt comfortable attempting that with the airbrush. Uh, but I wanted to get some red behind the gills on this bait. Um, so I went ahead and just put it on with the, with the paintbrush. But this bait, it did turn out uh, mostly how I envisioned. Um, I think it will catch fish. It looks pretty good. Uh, and now hopefully the weather's going to start warming up soon now that we're into March and we get into uh, late March, early April. I'm hoping to have a chance to get out and uh, fish some of these baits that I've, I've started making. And... Um, See if uh, see if I'm right, and see if I can catch fish with these with these uh, custom painted baits. Um, I'm fairly certain that I will, and uh, definitely looking out, looking forward to getting out and uh, throwing these baits that I painted. But like I said, this bait did turn out, you know, mostly how I envisioned. Um, I'm gonna put a put the kill spot on it now. Uh, just that black dot that that shad have on them. 
Uh, you know, I'm still even even using stencils. Uh, this is a one I made myself. Um, even using stencils, I'm just still trying to uh, get the hang of it. Um, once I get that bleed valve, I think that'll really help me out. Uh, I do feel like I waste a lot of paint. So hopefully that bleed valve will help with that. But overall, I'd say this bait looks pretty pretty good. Um, looks how I intended it for the most part. Uh, and hopefully it will catch fish. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, Mighty Turtle, out.